Come on down, let's make a deal. In this episode, we're gonna explore some of the math behind popular game show games. In particular, we're gonna look at whether or not you can game these games, because it's not always about luck. Hi, my name is Matthew. Um, I'm a physicist uh, doing my PhD at uh, McGill University. I'm currently working with uh, medical imaging at the Montreal Neurological Institute. And we have our official Bob Barker <laughs> microphones here because we are going to be playing <laughs> Plinko. And Plinko <laughs> is the most popular game on the game show, The Price <laughs> is Right. Okay, put it flat against the wall, let it drop. You want $10,000 right in the middle, right here. 10000 in the middle. Now, when you see that people play this mm. game on TV, mm -hmm. you see them kind of moving the chip around the top, right. trying to a lot of cheering. Out, yeah, a lot of <laughs> cheering, trying to figure out which slot mm. to drop it down, mm. as if it's kind of random where mm. the chip is going to end up. How does it all work? How does the math behind Plinko work? Every time a ball falls down, it can only go either left or right by one. And so, if you start in the middle, there's a very small amount of odds that it'll land to the sides while there's a lot of different possibilities that you can land in the middle. If you start in the middle, mm -hmm. there's, we could say that there's the greatest number of pathways mm -hmm. for it to get to $10,000. Exactly. Okay, <laughs> start over the side. There are you still have some chances, but yeah, less yeah, likely. What do you think? Do you want to try dead center and see what happens there? I think we've got a good chance of having good luck there, yeah. I think so too. All right, let's do it. <laughs> All right, so what happened here? It looks like if you start from the center, you have a great chance of winning $10,000. Mm. You also have a pretty great chance of winning absolutely nothing. That's why they put them next to the 10,000. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> they knew what they were doing. And it's interesting, there are, there are over here, there are no balls. Mm no balls in, in the 100 side over here and then just one mm -hmm. over there. There's actually only one way for them to get to the 100, yeah. If you drop it, the only way you can get there is through this path right. here. While the middle ones can do a lot of zigzags and it's more likely that they fall in the middle. Right, and so that's why we get this kind of a distribution. Mm -hmm. Right, okay, so we are gonna play a different game here. This is Let's Make a Deal. And there's a classic math problem based on Let's Make a Deal. It's called the Monty Hall problem. Monty Hall! So what I've got here are three mystery doors and behind each of these doors are three prizes. Two of the prizes are not so great. One prize is amazing and it's gonna blow your mind. <laughs> okay, so Matthew, let's make a deal! <laughs> okay, choose a door, Matthew. I'm gonna go with the middle one, number two. Okay, door number two, door number two. Mm -hmm. What I'm gonna do is reveal what's behind door number three. Oh, lunch! You have a choice. You can stick with your original door, or you can switch to the mm -hmm. other door. What are you going to do here? I think I have a better odds switching the door. So you're going to switch, switch your door. I'm going to pick door number one. So when you give me the original choice of three doors, I've got a pretty good chance of picking the wrong one. In fact, I had a two out of three chance of picking the wrong door. So let's say I do pick the wrong door. To build suspense, the host is definitely going to open the other door with a can of sausage. So if I've picked a door with sausages and the host opens a door with sausages, the remaining door will always be a car. And since I have a higher chance of choosing the wrong door initially, I have a greater chance of winning the car if I switch after the host opens the door. Okay, okay. <laughs> All right, here we go for the big reveal. You ready? Black car! A purple Lamborghini, <laughs> Matthew, congratulations! Thank you. Anything you'd like to say to your friends and family at home? Uh, I credit this all to them. <laughs> <laughs> and there you have it. You can game the game shows, put your chip in the center slot, and always choose the other door. 